Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, the tripod is shaking a little bit. Um, I'm at my kitchen table today because this is gonna be a really long video <laughs> and I needed some more space. Um, the lighting's kind of weird. It's like a really cloudy day outside, but also like bright through the clouds. So the light is coming through pretty crazy. Um, I have a couple of my candles here, but you can't really see them so far, but they're both village candle. One is orange cinnamon and one is mold cider. Very, very nice. Um, I have a little sign here that I keep downstairs, like where my kids kind of do homework and hang out. And I just thought it would be nice. Uh, the sign says, be the kid who can get along, be the kid who is generous, be the kid who is happy for other people and be the kid who does the right thing, be the nice kid. Uh, my friend Cameo that I grew up with in Arizona, um, she was more of like a sister to me, uh, made that sign for us. And I have another one down there too. I'll maybe put in another video. Um, but this is, you guys said that you wanted empties and I haven't done empties in like two months. I, my empties basket was so full. Like this whole bag is not wax. This is empties. Like it is packed in there. Um, so I am going to record for as long as my phone will let me record. However long that video ends up being, because it might cut me off. I don't know. We'll see. But you guys said you were okay with a really long empties video. So that's what we're going to do. I have a drink here, so if I drink, I just have some water with some emergency. Um, I'm not getting sick or anything. I just like to take in a lot of vitamin C and B vitamins. So I have that for like dry throat, dry mouth, my chapstick in case my lips get dry. Here we go. Um, there's gonna be some rustling because I have this all in a bag. So sorry, I don't even know. I have like extra chairs around me. I don't even know where I'm going to end up setting all these things. Maybe I'll just toss them on the floor. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should. Have, no, I won't dump them out. I don't know. I should have thought this through before I started. Anyways, I'm just going to grab from the bag and go. If I don't remember the scent, um, I'm just going to tell you what it is and like move along. So this first one is from Hayden Rowe. This was a souffle and nutmeg ginger. Um, really good. Um, I think a few other vendors have this. They just call it something different. This is a very like creamy, sweetened, not super sweet, but almost like pie crust kind of sweet nutmeg and ginger. So if you see this offered from Christina, it's not super spicy in my opinion. It's very creamy and gentle nutmeg and ginger. Really beautiful. I think for fall or winter cold weather period, great throw. Hinro always has great throw for me. Next up is Zape, The Night Before Christmas. I got this clamshell last year. This is flannel sheets, fresh snow, and pine trees. I melted this mostly in my bathroom. Um, so it's a very fresh, you know, winter kind of scent, mostly flannel sheets, but I did get pine trees as well. Um, I don't know if I'll get this one again. It didn't, even though it was flannel sheets, um, it didn't throw very well for me. Um, Zape is kind of interesting for me. I love uh, Ashley, right, is the one that owns Zape. Love her blends, love her marketing, love her website. Like the aesthetic is beautiful, but some, sometimes her stuff just doesn't throw for me at all. And I don't know why. And that's kind of a little bit how this one was. So not a repurchase probably. Um, this was from my friend Farron. She sent me a bunch of super tarts, clamshells to try. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, this is called Lucille. And this is one of the older labels. And this is chocolate orchid and blue sugar. This is so good. I know Nicole Perry talks about it a lot. Oh, this is so good. Chocolate orchid does not have chocolate in it. It's just the name of a type of flower. And it's kind of interesting because most orchids don't actually have a scent. But this is so good. In fact, I mean, it's made me think about making a custom from K's with blue sugar and chocolate orchid because she has both of those oils because I like this one so much. I do have a lot of issue with super tarts throwing for me, not this one, this one threw well. I put it in before I went to work and by the time my coffee was made and I was dressed and everything, I could smell it super well. Um, I left for work, I came back. By the time I'm home, it's about 14 hours um, about and this was still going strong when I came home. So really really like this um it makes me i already love blue sugar you guys know but it makes me interested in trying more chocolate orchid blends so i actually have some on the way to me to try to figure out um this is Kay's sinus relief the clamshell love 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 her sinus relief oh my gosh it's so good um it's like has some mints in it some eucalyptus but she also 
pays a little bit extra money to put these like um, crystals on the top. There's more information on her website about them that are that make it super powerful and extra like clearing. Um, so good when you're not feeling well. I just like this kind of scent at night, period. Um, so really good, great throw. We'll definitely repurchase. The next up is L3 Roxy Wonders, The Burrow. Um, on these little shape bags, there's not, the scent notes aren't there, but this is like a cinnamon roll bakery sweet kind of scent. Really like this one. It throws really well, but I just want a sweet bakery cinnamon. I melt the burrow and I love it. Um, like eight, yeah, and it's very sweet. Um, it's like an extra sweet <laughs> cinnamon roll scent. Throws really well, very housewarming, very just like satisfying when you want a sweet bakery. Um, this is from, oh my gosh, I'm gonna blink now. Don't make me blink. One of my waxy friends, you guys, I'm the worst at remembering names sometimes. Oh my gosh, she sent me an amazing box and I, oh my gosh, it was just my tip of my tongue. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm the worst at remembering names. I'm so sorry. That doesn't mean I, I like you any less. <laughs> This is L3 Waxy Wonders, um, and it was Full Metal Alchemist. And I'm so glad she sent this to me because that is a scent that I've been wanting to try for a long time. It's stainless steel and something else. And I love stainless steel blends so much. So I loved this one a lot. Um, it melted. I remember this so well because I was like, I need to get more of that. Why can't I remember the name of the person that sent me this box? Because there's more of what she sent me in here too. So, oh my gosh. Um, I have it, uh, if you go to my Instagram where I, where I posted, like when I melted this, I have her tagged in the pictures. I'm so sorry. Anyway, really good. I would definitely get that one. I will look for that one. I might request that one. That's how much I like that. Um, next up is L3 Waxy Wonder Snooze Button. I had seen Jennifer offer this one quite a bit. So I think I ended up getting it when she did like those chunk gen genres, like there was like lavender mint, bakery, coffee, or something like that. I ended up getting this one from the lavender mint section. Um, and it's one she offers a lot, so I just wanted to try it. This one was good. The snooze button is buttermint, vanilla, bean noel, and sweet lavender. It's good. Jennifer's lavender just isn't super strong. A lot of other vendors have lavenders that are really apparent. But I think a lot of people enjoy that about her lavender. So it's just me, I think. And who I don't know who else. Um, that I really want when it's a lavender blend. I really want to be able to smell the lavender. This one, I definitely got the buttermint and I got a touch of lavender, but I wanted lavender be lavender to be a lot stronger. So it's not that I didn't like that one. I did. It just um, wasn't my favorite. Uh, this is really good. Um, this was a two bunt pack from L3 Raxi Wonders, pumpkin pecan waffles, espresso, and sugar cookie royale. Um, I have been loving pumpkin pecan waffle blends, and I think part of that is because Jennifer has my favorite pumpkin pecan waffles. I also love Kirby's um, from Vintage Cheek Scents, but Jennifer has hands down my favorite. I do like her espresso oil quite a bit, and I love her sugar cookie royale oil. I do not like her sugar cookie oil, and I don't like her coffee bean oil, but I love her espresso, and I love her sugar cookie royale. This threw really well, was beautiful. Smelled exactly like you'd imagine. Um, this next one up was from Rainbow Melt. Um, Kentucky Waxy Girl sent me a box, like I think it was a year ago, maybe two years ago, I'd have to see. Um, and this was part of it. This is this was So Lushy and Fizzy Pop. Love this one so much. So Lushy, um, a lot of vendors have a type of blend like this. It's, a, it's like a bunch of bright, kind of citrusy, lush scents put together. And then it was mixed with Fizzy Pop. I think this was part of her Fizzy Pop sampler. And I love me some Fizzy Pop. Um, obviously a scent called So Lushy and Fizzy Pop threw like crazy and it was Rainbow Melts. It was like 10 out of 10. I, put, I think I put it in the bathroom a while ago and I loved it. Uh, scoopable, this was a large scoop uh, from L3 Raxi Wonders and Herbal Lavender Fizzy Soda. Loved this. Um, once again, her lavender isn't super strong. To me, this was mostly like a citrusy Fizzy Soda, but there definitely is lavender in here too. Um, it just isn't the stronger part of this. I think her lavender oils are just gentle and that is fine. Um, but I would absolutely purchase this one again because like any lavender soda kind of scent I'm obsessed with. So, uh, especially like in the morning or in the bathroom, it just is so 
I never, I don't know, the like effervescent and it just wakes you up and gets you going. So I would 500% order that one again. Uh, K scented wax melts, April fresh. I just, I just love how much she offers. And I just, every once in a while, I'm just like, I've never smelled that oil. Let me grab that. April fresh is a laundry, uh, oil, uh, for people that I think aren't super in love with laundry because it can give you a headache. I think April fresh is a really good one. It's very like smooth and gentle. Um, definitely not loud. Definitely not like sinus pain inducing or anything in my opinion. So if you want, if you're wanting to try like a clean, fresh laundry kind of situation, but they give you headaches, which some also to me, uh, do the same thing. Um, April fresh would be one to try because it is fresh, but it's like gentle, very, very gentle. K scented melts, fallen leaves. Oh, I actually have a custom blend coming to me with this in it right now. Um, just in case you guys want to know, cause I'm probably not going to put it on a video cause it's the, my haul was just one custom and like four or five clamshells. Um, but the custom I'm doing is called jump in the leaves, like a leaf pile and it's fallen leaves, the perfect autumn, which is like cranberry and apple and then Tonka and Ode or Oud, however you want to say that. And I wanted it to really kind of like make the presence of like you're outside and you're going to jump in a pile of leaves. So I did that like deep woodsy vanilla Tonky Tonky. Tonky, Tonka scent with Oud. Um, and then cram the cranberry, the perfect autumn to kind of just give the ambiance of autumn. And then fallen leaves is this, it truly smells like what you'd think a fallen leaves scent would be, but there's just this touch of tiny bit of sweetness in there. That's like, like the tiniest bit of like apple cider almost, but it's not sweet. It's barely sweet. It's so good by itself. It throws so well, but it's just one of the best blenders. If you just want to add like a woodsy warmth with like the tiniest touch of maybe a cider. Really, really good. Um, this was a test scent from Kay's Dragon's Blood. Um, I'm sure if you've been in the wax world for a long time, you've had this oil before. Dragon's, oh, it's so good. Dragon's Blood, it just reminds me so much of like when I lived in California and you'd go to like Venice Beach or something and the little shops or even like when I lived in more of a, more like the Bay area, Fisherman's Wharf, like they'd have like those incense sticks burning or you'd make, there was these stands where you'd make like your own bath salt bottles that you could like layer and stuff. And this just smells like that. Oh, I need to get more of that. Anyway, Dragon's Blood is definitely like an incense stick, but like a fresh version of it. This would be so good with a laundry oil. Mm. In fact, it might, it would be good with that April fresh or, I mean, for me, I'd probably put it with like white clouds or clothespins, but mm, man, I, that just reminded me how much I really, really liked that one. And it threw like crazy, really good. Um, vintage chic scents. This is a sample from one of my orders. This is ghost face. The sample made me go and order more ghost face. Um, this one's interesting. It's not normally a scent that I would like, but ghost face is caramelized pralines, cream trees, frosting, and zucchini bread. I normally don't like anything that's caramelized or usually when pralines are in there, it's, it smells like caramel, caramel, and I'm not a fan, but there is, first of all, I love any of Kirby's like bakery blends that are based with zucchini bread because her zucchini bread is so bomb. To me, it's more on the savory side. Oh, gosh. So the reason I think I can do this caramelized praline in this and cream cheese frosting is because of that zucchini bread. It really makes this like savory and sweet situation going on. And this one, as you guys know, I love vintage chic scents, but I do have issues with throw from her from t probably about honestly 50, 50, maybe 25, 75, something like that. But when things throw, they throw super well. And this one throws really well. Um, I don't know if she'll pour a ton of this the rest of the year, but if next fall she makes one of the pumpkin loaves of this or just the foil pan loaves of this, I will be getting this one. It's that good to me. Okay, clamshell of Kay's Buttermints. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have smelled a Buttermints oil and this is so good. It definitely smells just like those little like after dinner mints that dissolve on your tongue. So it is more of an edible mint. It's not like super nose clearing to me. I know a lot of people love the buttermint oil for that reason because it's not nose clearing. Um, and I agree with that. This is really good, but um, I like nose clearing. <laughs> like I want my eyes to water and my nose to burn. <laughs> um, so this is good. Just not my favorite mint. She has so many mints. So 
Um, if you go back in some of my K's videos, I don't have it listed as a, the mint video, but I went on Kay's website and ordered like every single mint or mint blend that she had and I talked about them. So if you're interested in that, there's that. Because I am a mint lover in food, in scents, in everything. Speaking of, another Kay's mint. This is North Pole. I think this is a Yankee type. Oh, it's so good. This is one of those ones that is like a very... It's minty, but it almost has the texture of like powdery snow. So it's almost like, oh gosh, it's so good. It's almost like you're, you have peppermint, like those, like that, uh, I guess those dissolve on your tongue too, but it's not like a butter mint. But you know, like around Christmas time, you get those like barrels or buckets of like those twisted red little mint candies that, that also dissolve on your tongue. It's almost like super mint, but the powder that comes off those. Mm, I love this one. Um, my husband thought it smelled way too minty. He's not a fan of mint scents. This is one of my favorite mint scents from K's and I will continue to melt it. It would be good in blends, but I think for me, if I put this in a blend, it might ruin that texture to the smell that I love so much. So anyways, I love that one and will continue to order that one. Next up is Rose Girls, the Laundry Fairy. Um, oh, I would say I've ordered quite a few of the, or quite a bit of this, but because of the date on the back, because I am not good at writing dates on my wax, I know this is from Tishon. So the Laundry Fairy, this was a chunk muffin, by the way, is lavender, freshly folded and put away laundry. And this is bomb. You know, we talk about Jenny's uh, chunk muffins that you can cut them into four, five, six pieces. Um, and they throw well the laundry fair you can cut this thing in like 12 pieces and it's going to be throwing a 10 out of 10 this thing's insane <laughs> but so good now i thought this was a herbal lavender because whatever the laundry and freshly folded laundry put away whatever in this is quite strong um and sharp almost i thought that i was for sure that the lavender in here was herbal lavender or i thought it was french lavender um because jenny has had that also it's not she said it's sweet lavender so I was totally wrong on that, but Jenny's lavender scents, the lavender sticks out and throws, and I love that, and I love this scent. Thank you to Sean. You're gonna see a lot of this. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about it once, and then every time it comes back, I'm just, or comes up again, I'll just tell you that it's this again. The Fog from Vintage Chic Scents. I have fallen for this scent oil. I love it so much. I think I went back from the first time I got it to the last time I ordered it, I think I have almost 30 ounces of this scent. I'm not kidding. Well, I did at the beginning, but I've melted a lot of it already. It's so special to me. Um, and then I got an order from um, Salt Mountain Melt. And what was it called? Oh, crap. Because I got a souffle. I got a souffle from Salt Mountain Melt and when I got it, I realized it's the same oil as this one. I, it's posted on my Instagram also. Um, it was just one souffle and one loaf, um, if you're looking, but it's the same oil. Anyway, the fog is sweet, dark spices, smoky patchouli, cedarwood, violets, cinnamon, and clove. And this throws like crazy. I definitely get the patchouli, but I definitely get the cedarwood and the, I get a lot of clove and a touch of cinnamon, but mostly clove like smoky clove. And so they really offset that patchouli. And I was watching Nicole Perry's um, small, like she just got her forwarder box, I think yesterday or the day before. And then she did her vintage chic part of it today. And she was talking about how the violets in this saves it for her. And I was thinking while I was watching that, I'm like, I don't smell any violets in that. But I totally do. Now that I'm smelling this bag, I'm warm. I don't know if I do. I'm gonna have to pay more attention next time when I melt it. I absolutely get violets now and it makes it pretty. This is like dark patchouli, cedar wood, smoky clove and violets. Oh man, it's so good. I, I will love that one forever. And it's crazy throw. Destination Wax, Coast of Sicily. Have I talked about this one enough? Um, I still have yet, I still am meaning to get a loaf of Coast of Sicily. The thing with me is when Destination Wax, like, you know, the first of the month comes around and they are open for order, I'm always like, I'm just going to get like two loaves of my favorite things and be done with it. But then I look at what's like there and I want so many more scents that I'm like, I, like I'm always like, okay, this time I'll get a variety of scents I want to try. 
the next time I'll get a loaf or two of the things I really like. And then it just never happens. <laughs> but at some point, I will be getting a large amount of Coast of Sicily. Um, this is lavender and violets mingle with the salty ocean breeze of the Sicilian coast. To me, this is like, I've said it before. It's like you're taking an outdoor shower on like a beachfront property outdoors with a lavender soap. It is like hot and cold ocean breeze and lavender soap. I don't know. It's amazing. It throws well. I think it's perfect for the bathroom, but it's also perfect for just like being having like fresh air in your house. Oh man, I love Coast of Sicily so much. Um, this is from my friend Candy. She sent me a ton of super tarts, like clamshell pieces, like two cubes um, for me to try. And I was so thankful to her for that. Um, some of them I've super loved and some I haven't been able to smell. And this one is Isildur, Isildur's Air, as in H-E-I-R. And now the bag doesn't have any scent. Um, I think I like this one. I think this was a really fresh one that I put in the bathroom. I believe I, I posted about this one on my Instagram, so I'm sorry, but I don't remember this one. I remember liking it though, so. Ooh. Okay, scented melts, Capri Seaside Citrus. Oh my gosh. So I think I ordered like five clamshells of this when she first stocked it on her website this year. And when you smell it in the clamshell, you're like, that's not gonna be strong on warm, but it totally is. So this is a scent, Capri Seaside Citrus, that Bath & Body Works has renamed like five times. When I fell in love with it is when it was called French Riviera. And it was one of these like one-off like summer blends, uh, summer body care things that they never brought back as that name, but they brought it back as something else. But people know it best as Capri Seaside Citrus. To me, this is going to sound weird because scents have like a lot of texture to me. This smells like bubbles in a bubble bath to me. Like fret, like you... Like you've made a bubble bath and you have all these bubbles around you with like a oceanic smooth citrus, like actually aquatic oceanic, not male or not a masculine or feminine. And you just have these huge warm bubbles around you. That is what the pre seaside citrus smells like to me. And I love it. I thought about putting this in a blend, but also just like the um, North Pole one that I was talking about. I'm afraid that if I put it in a blend, I will lose that special texture of like bubbles that I smell. Sorry if that sounds weird, but um, that is my favorite part of this scent. So I don't want to ruin it. So um, I'll just be melting this on its own and it's beautiful and amazing by itself. It throws really well, especially for what kind of scent it is. It throws really well. Um, so next one up is the pharmacist daughter. I think this is a souffle. And this was in Highlands. And this is Cranberry Oak, Blue Sugar, Sandalwood, and Rain. This was very nice. Um, I will say on Warm, I didn't get much of the Cranberry Oak. It was mostly like a Rain Sandalwood with like a tiny, tiny touch of the Cranberry Oak in the bottom. So I, I really enjoyed this. I really, really liked it. But it's not one that I smell and I'm like, wow, I have to have more of that. But I did really enjoy it and it threw really well. So... Um, the next one is a clamshell from Super Tarts, and this is in Hades. Um, I was, I think I was sent this, was I sent this from Theron or Candy? Someone else might have sent this to me. Um, once again, I have it on my Instagram, tagged whoever sent it to me. Um, this is Campfire and Blue Sugar. Really like this one. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit more smoky. It definitely just smells like a slightly more smoky Blue Sugar. Um, so I love Blue Sugar, so that was good. Um, but I don't think I'll order this one just because it just kind of sounds like a slightly smokier blue sugar to me. So it's good, but not like nothing special. Um, another one from Tashawn. Um, her sending this to me made me fall in love with this scent. I wish that Jenny would make this like in the summer do, cause we all know she just did her Mario pre-order where she does like the winter Christmas Mario half pies. I would love in the summer or spring preparing for summer to do loaves or half pies of don't be salty. Um, I am so happy to Sean sent me this, um, chunk muffin because I would never have ordered this on my own because of the cucumber note. I love to eat cucumbers in real life. Um, I just have, uh, how do I explain this? <laughs> so 
in if you've worked in like the service industry, I guess, period, but specifically in a hospital or like skilled nursing facility, when patients like have their trays out from eating, but they're done with them and then they sit there for a while until people can pick them up. Um, one of the worst smells is when there's like leftover salad to me and it's like warm and then like patients will have like their heater on and it will sit, sit there and you smell old cucumbers. So I don't know. That's part of why I have a hard time with cucumber and wax because I'll smell like it's on the warmer and it's cucumber. And so it messes with my head. I don't know. There is just a weird scent thought process with me and cucumber. But this smells like cold and cool to me when it's melting, especially because it's really salty. That salty Sierra and rain, it all comes off very salty and I love it so much. Like this is almost, there's only one scent in wax that is fresher than this. Um, and it's Jenny's also. And I love it so much and I actually need to go back to the website. I hope me saying this doesn't make it sell out because I love it. I haven't, she hasn't offered it in a long time. Um, she did an RTS today and this was part of my goal of ordering, but then I was like, well, she offers it other times of the year. So maybe I won't, but her lemon summer breeze, which I didn't know because today was the first day she listed the actual blend. It's Avo bath and summer breeze. I didn't know that. Um, but that is the freshest scent I've ever smelled in wax in my life. And this is second to that. It's so fresh and so good. So thank you to Sean. Um, if Jenny ever offered like a spring or summer half pie or um, loaf kind of thing, I think a lemon summer breeze needs to be one and don't be salty needs to be one because they are bomb and they both throw like a 10 out of 10. Okay, next up is a large scoop from L3 in blue sugar zucchini bread, warm vanilla sugar. Goodness sakes. There is something so special when blue sugar and zucchini bread goes together because I also had a blend this week that I melted from the pharmacist's daughter and it was blue sugar, zucchini bread, and um, wood sage and sea salt, the Joe Malone type. And it didn't smell much different than this one. I do think I like it just a touch better with the um, wood sage and sea salt than with the warm vanilla sugar, but it's hardly any different. I just love blue sugar and zucchini bread. It's very special. I'm See, now I'm smelling that warm vanilla sugar so much. Oh, I love this. I actually have two more large scoops of this and I will be requesting it more because I can never run out of this. This one throws like crazy. It's just one of those ones where like, it is like a nine or 10 out of 10, but it just wafts a lot. Um, in fact, like if I can't get Jennifer to pour this one again, I'm just going to make it from K's or something because I love it that much. I just don't know if I'll get the freaking ratios right oh it's so good um it's just it's one of those scents that you just can't explain until someone smells it and i adore it so another clamshell from k's this was also i think from my mint paul this is lavender mint Ugh, really good very herbal uh lavender and like nose clearing mint i love this one Definitely one you can put in a blend because it stands on its own and it's definitely lavender and mint. You can smell both and it stands out on its, you know, even in a blend. Um, very good throw, amazing. Another K's Eucalyptus Spearmint. This is the Bath and Body Works type. Oh, I love this one so much. I actually have this um, in my car port in my, our minivan right now. I have a blend coming up that's, in my head with this because to me this leans masculine and there's a couple of oils that I really want to blend with this because it is a little bit eucalyptus -y, definitely minty but it's masculine too to my nose and I'm gonna make some blends with it it's amazing this one that is one of her best mint throwers period oh my back I'm sitting in like a hard back chair oh well this is one of my customs from Kay's holiday drive this is Fraser fur espresso and bake shop one of my favorite customs I've ever made. Oh, um, and like I said, when I very first posted this custom of mine, I did say that I did get inspiration from a Teddy B's blend. Um, I believe Dawn, did she come up with that blend? Or I can't remember. Um, but Teddy B's has a Christmas macchiato blend. Um, but the coffee they use in that is much, much sweeter. And then there's a 
like a tree oh christmas trees and cream in it which also is like a christmas tree scent but also has sweet like a lot of sweetness in it and then um i can't remember what else is in it but this that's where i got my inspiration from i don't want anyone to think i was copying them but i did get inspiration from it um this one is quite a bit less sweet than teddy bees which i, I don't get me wrong. I love Teddy Bees and I love the Christmas Macchiato. Amazing. I just like this one a little bit more because the espresso is more bold and the tree in this is a little bit more bold. The bake shop is more bakery versus creamy sweet, if that makes sense. Um, I, uh, I will say the Teddy Bees Caramel Macchiato throws better than this one, but this one throws completely adequately fine. And I just freaking love this one so much. Um, she sells it now as a blend on her website. And it's just so special to me. Um, I love Carla. So anyway, love Holiday Drive. We'll continue, continue to make it and purchase it. Another clamshell of Finnick. I think this one's from Farron also. This is Sugar Cubes and Ocean Waves. And this one was okay. The Ocean Waves is very floral in here. So this just kind of smelled like a very floral trying to be aquatic air freshener kind of to me so not my favorite but it was okay um this was a custom of mine from i was gonna say from carla but from k's wax melts and this is dreaming of sleep and this is clover and aloe winter linen and lavender i was trying to copy um or copy get inspiration from however you want to say from another teddy bees blend um literally my top favorite blend ever from teddy bees and why can i think of the name what is wrong with me there's a bag of it in here somewhere <laughs> oh my gosh you guys how can i remember my very favorite teddy bees blend ever you guys are all probably sitting here saying it and being like danny come on but it's her like sweet lavender cotton and cashmere and green clover aloe blend oh my gosh this was not a dupe for it not even close um and it's because i got the green clover and aloe was the same oil the lavender was a little bit different but it would have been fine it was the laundry part of this that i didn't get right um carla doesn't offer the cotton and cashmere oil that teddy bees has and so winter linen was just not the right oil but this did smell really good i did like it um it was a great like fresh and fluffy kind of daytime lavender scent. Really, really nice. I don't think I'll make it again, but I tried and it was good. You have to remember, not every custom you make is gonna be amazing. Some are hits and love, and sometimes you love them and other people don't. Um, that's just how customs are. Oh man, I love this one so much. Candy sent me this one. This was a chunk muffin from Rose Girls. Oh, this is Summer Breeze, Lemon Verbena, Snuggle Baby, and White Cloud. This thing threw like a freaking beast. Any, listen, Summer Breeze blends are to die for and I need to make more of them. This Lemon Verbena, Snuggle Baby and White Clouds. Sometimes I have an issue with Snuggle Baby because it's a very powdery scent and it kind of gets stuck in the back of my throat. Um, but this one just had a touch of it. You could definitely tell it was there, um, but it didn't like take over. This was amazing. If Jenny ever offered this scent again, I would buy this in a freaking whole pie. Ugh, oh, candy. Thank you so oh, I'll just put my thank you so much for sending this to me. So good. Um, next up is the pharmacist daughter. This is poison apple. Was this? I think this was part of her. Yeah, this was part of her Halloween advent. Love this one. This is apple blondie and pumpkin pecan waffles. I mostly got the apple blondie. Um, I love pumpkin pecan waffles. I do feel like the pharmacist's daughter pumpkin pecan waffles does have some spice to it. I like spicy scents. Um, so even though, like I said, L3 has my favorite pumpkin pecan waffles, I appreciate like almost every version of it. <laughs> so I did really like this one. They were really cute little, like two apple shapes with like little green stems. They were adorable. Liked that one a lot. I don't know if I'd repurchase it. Um, but I liked that one a lot. Um, this one was another custom of mine from K Scented Melts, and this is Forget Your Worries. And this was Apple Fireside Oatmeal Cookies and Toasted Malo. And this was nice. I don't think I'll get it again, but I might do more blends with her oatmeal cookies uh, oil because that, that's kind of what I ended up enjoying in here. Um, 
it's it's a spiced bakery and it is more it does smell like oatmeal cookies uh and i think yeah i think i just i mean i think what i got from this is that i want to do more blends with oatmeal cookies so i enjoyed it but probably not make it again uh, this one is No Brainer from The Pharmacist's Daughter. This was also part of the Halloween advent. This is one that I ordered extra of, so I actually have more of this one. Um, they were in those like zombie heads. I don't know if they were blue or green. Um, this was Blue Sugar, Sandalwood, Hipster, and Perfect Man. And this was so freaking sexy, amazing, strong, like a woodsy, fabulous freaking men's cologne. Oh, I love this one so much. Um, I'm glad I have some more of it. Um, I did gift a couple of the little heads that I, zombie heads to a friend that loves masculine scents, maybe even more than me, um, which is hard to come by. Um, but, and so anyway, she loved it too. I just, let me just say something that's funny. So I bring a lot of wax to work to share with people and I'll be like at my like report table at work and everyone will kind of go around and smell the scents and the things that are really good sellers in the wax world, all the people that I work with are like, ugh. So like all the like bakery, super sweet, like cotton candy or cake, marshmallow, whatever. Everyone's always like, ugh. This, why would you ever want your house to smell like that? But every time there's like a masculine or fresh or like smoky or earthy, they're always like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. And it's not just one person, like a ton of people have that same opinion and, I, and it's just interesting to me um because i'll try to bring bakery scents because i'm like oh i mean these are easier for people to like understand and love and whatever than masculine scents and that is not the case so i just find it really funny um this next one up is screecher creature this um from the pharmacist's daughter and the notes here are palo santo cracklin birch and boardwalk mallow clouds this was really nice I melted this in my room. I just got a touch of the Boardwalk Mallow Clouds with that Cracklin' Birch and Palo Santo together. Really nice. I don't know if it's one I'd get more of, but it, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Oh, this was a low from Vintage Chic Scents from last fall. This is Casper. The notes here are pumpkins, warm spices, and apple cider. And like I said, this was a loaf. So, the notes are still something I would love because I love apple cider. I love pumpkin. I love warm spices. This was good. It threw really well, but this smelled like a craft store. So I don't think I'll get Casper again. It was nice while I had it, um, but I don't, I won't get it again. Next up is L3 Waxy Wonders Nose Burner. This is Peppermint Boogie Be Gone, which is her like Vicks Vapor Rub scent. Winter Fresh Eucalyptus and Vanilla. I do see this on the list for her upcoming... I think it's on the 29th um rts well i did like this it was good the winter fresh winter fresh winter green is the only mint oil i do not enjoy um i even have to be careful like chewing winter green gum sometimes it's fine other times like it will make me feel like i have like morning sickness from when i was pregnant something happened with winter green when i was pregnant with one of my kids and i don't remember which one or what happened but i have the hardest time with that scent and that's yeah, that's what happened here. So I don't think I'll get that one again. The next up is Kay's Scented Melts, Enter Sandman. This is a very like classic bedtime blend that is amazing. This is a, a lavender, a mint, and like a marshmallow. Oh, so good. I melted this actually this week or last week in my bathroom. And I every time I melt Enter Sandman from her, I'm always like, why don't I have a loaf of that? Because it's so good. And then I just like, for some reason, forget about it till the next time I smell it and then I'm like I need a loaf of that so uh the next one is Goosebumps from Super Tarts this is one that I believe I ordered um in her what is it oh, well, I just dropped it what's her like spooky theme stuff called I can't remember um anyway Goosebumps is iced pumpkin cupcakes mac apple and homemade biscuits this was okay I didn't get any type of homemade biscuits but there is, there was a touch of mac apple and a sweetened pumpkin scent, which I assume is the pumpkin cookies. So it was good. Didn't throw very well. I don't know. Super tarts is so weird for me. I don't understand. Um, this was a sample from K Scented Melts. <clears throat> this was a Sasha blend. Um, and man, I enjoyed this so much. This is her blend as she had gone, Sasha had gone on like a trip to Africa 
and came back and did some like Africa inspired blends. And this is Cameroon. And this is Lavender Sage Zest and Blue Musk. Oh my gosh, you guys, this, it's so good. So, so good. Um, man, I should get that one. A Sasha blend in a bag of cuts or something because oh that's so good that's all I can say it's good uh this one was from Farron as well old packaging from super tarts in baby Groot and the notes here are driftwood cucumber melon and herbal lavender I melted this in the bathroom this one now did throw very well the only thing is I don't like the cucumber her cucumber oil it smells like warm cucumbers on a patient's bedside table and the herbal lavender doesn't come out much. Um, I do get a bit of melon. Um, so it was good. It was strong. It was fresh. But I don't like the cucumber oil in it. Um, another don't be salty. Love, love, love. Um, another one from that box of that friend that I'm blanking on. If I remember, I'll put her name down in the down box. Not if I remember. I will find the name. This was Arctic Seacoast from Destination Wax. I've had this one before. Love it. This is a very strong, almost masculine aquatic. To my nose, it's somewhat similar to Black Sea, but not quite as deep and dark and a little bit fresher. Oh man, see now this makes me wanna get it. This was amazing. Now it makes me wanna get a freaking loaf of Arctic Sea Coast. It's amazing. Um, Singing in the Mountain Rain. This is a chunk muffin from Rose Girls, Amber Floral Spa Rain Crisp Ozone. She had a rain sampler a while back and on cold, I said I didn't really enjoy this one. Love this one on warm that I purchased it again because I loved it so much. So love, 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 good thrower. Christmas morning sex. One of my favorite all time Rose Girls blends. Um, I very first experienced this one, I think three years ago during her Christmas RTS, she had made these like Christmas stars. Her Christmas morning sex is just her morning sex blend oil that I still have never smelled from any other vendor. It's amazing. And her most amazing peppermint mixed together and I can't get enough. I will always love that one. I often, I have her mini melters in morning sex and peppermint and I often put them together and blend them together because I love it so much. Um, these, I think this was Bunts. From L3 Amityville, this is Cashmere Twilight Woods Warm Vanilla Sugar. I also have this in a scoopable. This is very, very nice. Um, this is a really good body care scent. Oh, so good. I get all the notes, um, Warm Vanilla Sugar, Cashmere, and Twilight Woods, and it's just beautiful, especially, I mean, it, it really is a year-round scent, any type of day scent, but I really like it as I'm going to bed, so. Oh, Kay's sample in Spearmint. You guys, Spearmint is a new oil, or she has a new Spearmint oil. Do not pass this up. This is a great Spearmint oil. This smells like you just opened like a Costco pack of Spearmint gum and it's super strong and it's amazing. I will be making blends with that. Um, oh, this was a sample from the pharmacist's daughter bef from before she came out with the Halloween advent in Grave Digger. Um, I love this scent. So I ordered extras from what I received in the advent. And I'm so glad I did because I love the Grave Digger. And I also gifted one to my friend that likes scents like me. Um, I think they're my Grave Digger. I know that it has wood sage and sea salt. I think it has Palo Santo. I just can't remember what else is in it. But it's like a woodsy, almost salty, masculine blend. And it's amazing. I would definitely repurchase that one from the pharmacist's daughter. Um, oh, loved this one from, um, super charts. This is called Jasper and this is Satsuma and soft laundry. Um, candy was able to tell me on, in the group on Facebook that the soft laundry in here is white clouds. It's so funny because in this blend, I could not separate the white clouds. Like it's so blended so well that I couldn't figure out what it was. Love this one so much that I went and made a custom with K scented melts. Um, very similar. I did her Satsuma. I did her White Clouds. And then I added um, Sorel Lemon Thyme just to make it like a touch brighter, um, which I like. The Jasper, though, was another one of those ones that I put in before work. And then um, and it threw like crazy. And then I came home like 14 hours later or whatever. And it, I, I walked in. And I'm like, what is that smell? That is amazing. Um, it was Jasper. And so I'm in love with it. Um, and it gave me the idea to make the K um, custom. 
and I like the case custom even better and that one throws like crazy so I think I'll just stick with that um sorry mm. this cup just so you guys know funny story um if you're on Instagram and the wax world Grace Dennis uh her and I swapped cups so she sent me this one because I was looking for this one like last year sometime and I couldn't find it and then I had at the Starbucks, one of the Starbucks by my house, a ton of those like matte kind of rubberized um, spike black cups. So I bought one of those for her and she had this one and we swapped them. So just so you know, wax friends, you know. Okay. Another destination wax, Coast of Sicily. Uh, oh, this one. Oh gosh, this is from a long time ago. <laughs> Uh, the Pharmacist's Daughter Grapefruit and Mint. This is Rosemary Mint and Grapefruit. This was just really nice. It was kind of just the end of summer. Just a really fresh grapefruit and mint. Um, it almost kind of just felt like almost like a grapefruit mojito, which sounds good to me. There are so many more in here, you guys. We are 45 minutes in. Um, Destination Wax Candy Cane Extra. Really good. Um, it ended up not being as strong as I wanted it to be, but it was nice. Uh, the Pharmacist's Daughter, this is from the Halloween Advent, Harvest Moon, I loved this one. Campfire Marshmallows, Ice Vanilla Woods, and Pumpkin Souffle. So it ended up really taking over that Ice Vanilla Woods scent, almost like a masculine tree scent, um, with a touch, like there was definitely like a pumpkin spice in there and like a touch of sweetness. I know that sounds kind of weird, but this was really good. It came off more woodsy than bakery. Uh, definitely would get more of that. Um, Rose Girls, I finished melting this bag um, in preparation of the Mario Melters that we that I ordered, Thwomps. Thwomps, if I can remember correctly, is like fresh pine trees. Um, is it Campfire Marshmallow or Marshmallow Fireside? Can't remember. Um, mint and sugar cookies, I think. Oh, I love this one so much. I do wish that it would throw better, even at my last apartment versus this house. I love Thwomps. It's so good. Like it's so addicting to my nose. That it's one of those scents that I want to throw like a 30 out of 10 because it's so good. I just want it like infused and everything. You know what I mean? Um, I really wanted to buy a half pie of this, but I did not. I was good and got one mini melter bag of it. And then I'm hoping at the RTS, I'm hoping everyone got their fill um, for what they got the pre-order. I'm hoping at the RTS I can get one more bag. So we'll see. Um, this is super tarts. This was a bam bag of, it wasn't just a dream. This was so good in scent. It's like pink sugar, lavender, and mint. I think, um, it just didn't really throw for me. I don't know why. Like those scents should make something throw really well. And it just didn't. I don't know why, but I love the blend. Like it was seriously so another one of those blends that just as the scents came together, it was addicting to my nose but it just didn't throw. I don't know why I'm sad, but I love the scent. Um, Teddy bees. This was a low from, I don't know if it was last, I think it was last Christmas. I love this one. This is crushed candy cane circus. It's frosted circus sugar cookies blended with candy canes and vanilla. Um, I will say, so I love Teddy bees, but some of her scents with the frosted sh circus sugar cookies, they're amazing. But that, Part of it makes, so Nicole Perry talks about this and I 100% agree. I love Teddy B's, like one of my top vendors. I love that her blends. I love the people that help run her group. I mean, there are some things from Teddy B's that like are so strong, my eyes water and I love it. <laughs> but sometimes with her circus sugar cookies, it amplifies things and then sometimes it waters them down. Um, and when I first got this and first melted it, it definitely amplified things and it smelled great. And then as it got older, it really watered things down. But I've learned with this one then to get a smaller amount of it and melt it when it's new um, and not let it get old. So this did throw okay for me this last week when I, or two weeks ago, I think when I melted it downstairs in my basement, uh, I purposely melted it down there so it would throw better. It just smells so good. So I think when I first got it, I explained that this smells like you're at like a big Christmas party with a ton of kids and you've given them like sugar cookies to ice and put like broken, like shattered pieces of candy canes on. It literally smells like cookies, frosting and candy cane pieces. 
It really does. It really brings to memory for me, like I was raised in a certain church. Um, and it really kind of brought together like the young kids frosting cookies and having like sticky candy cane everywhere in that kind of setting. I hope that makes sense. Um, anyway, I was gonna say, I don't go to church anymore, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so this is really good. I'm, all I'm saying is I would get it again for sure. I think it was offered in this last pre-order, but I didn't get any of it. Um, at the time I still had like a third of this loaf left. So, but I just learned to get this cause I love it, but melt it quickly. So that's the case on that one. Um, Rose girls. I actually finished melting this this morning. No, last night, uh, Christmas Eve and cookie land. Love this one. Eggnog donut holes, cookies and marshmallow smoothie. This taught me that I love marshmallow smoothie from Rose Girls. Um, I wish you would offer it again, like by itself, because by itself it's amazing, but it's also a great blender. The thing with Christmas Eve and Cookie Land, uh, so first off, this is a customer blend by Josh Bales, and it's a masterpiece, it's genius. This is also one that I've learned that I need to melt it when it's new. I love Rose Girls to death, you guys know this, um, but her bakery for me, after about a year, waters things down. Um, the bakery stuff kind of becomes almost scentless to my nose. Now her other stuff, like her uh, fresh, masculine, laundry, fruity, holy moly, um, almost like gets like amplifies over time. Like her rainbow sherbet and stuff like that, wow. <laughs> um, but her bakery stuff melt fast, in my opinion. So, but that one is fabulous, that blend. Rose Girls singing in the mountain rain again. A small scoopable from L3 in La Llorona. And this is Seaside Cotton Rainstorms and Forest Air. Amazing. Do I have, I have, oh gosh, that's so good. I, does anyone else like fresh scents? Like I know bakery scents can make people's mouth water because they smell like gourmand, like edible. But there are like masculine and fresh scents that I just, it makes my mouth water. And this is one of them. I can't remember if I have one more small scoopable of this or two more, but I hope she offers this again because it's so special to me. Um, I melted this mostly in my bathroom, but I can melt this all year round anywhere. You really get the seaside cotton, you really get the rainstorm, and you just get a touch of forest air. It smells outdoorsy, it smells a little bit rugged, it smells almost like clean at the same time. It's special, I love it, I will continue to purchase it. My chair is getting full over here, so we'll see where I start stacking things. A bunch of bags. A uh, cauldron bubble. This is from the Halloween advent from the pharmacist's daughter. This was coconut crack, which is a fabulous blend from her, and coffee house, which is a coffee oil from her that I love. So obviously, I love this one very much. I would absolutely repurchase that. Another Halloween advent from the pharmacist's daughter in Every Day is Halloween. I loved this one. I would definitely get this one again. This is her king cake, which is already like a spiced kind of fall bakery, in my opinion. And pumpkin souffle, which is a definitely a more, more spicy spiced pumpkin oil. Other vendors have that oil too. Love this one. Would definitely get that one. This is Britta's Creepy Treasures. Um, Stay Out of the Basement. One of my very favorite blends from her. This is Bamboo, Aloe and Green Clover, and Black Sea. This is somehow a fresh, clean, but creepy, like, aquatic scent. I'm not kidding. It's very special. It throws really well. I have like two Ouija boards. Well, now one more Ouija boards of this. Very special scent. Love it very much. Another Vintage Chic Scents, The Fog, to Leaf Pack that is gone. This is a new vendor to me, Silky Soaps. Um, I just added myself to the Facebook group. Oh, sorry, my back is hurting. Um, and to his Instagram or her Instagram page. Um, neither one have a ton of posts on them. I was sent a bunch of silky soap scents from my friend Allison from the UK. Um, in fact, we were just talking today. Um, I made a video on my Instagram stories about, I think I've been missing out. This wax throws like crazy. And if you're a cranberry marmalade oil fan, you better get over there because their oil is fabulous. And um, there was a mint blend that was like spearmint, peppermint, something else that was also amazing. Like I'm, they're just now on my radar. The throw is fantabulous. Um, this one was red Mac apple roasted pine cones. I'm actually melting this in my room right now. The last few pieces that I had from a little like kind of snap bar looking thing. Amazing. Uh, I would say the 
Mac Apple, their Mac o Apple oil is juicy, but it leans a little more sweet than like realistic, super juicy. But I also appreciate that. Um, this was two chunks from Rose Girls Halloween Advent, and this is Vermont Honey Apple and Royal Sugar Cookies. This is okay. Um, I do like her Royal Sugar Cookie Oil. Vermont Honey Apple is just, I like it. It's just kind of odd to me. I don't know. Uh, this is from the the Pharmacist Daughter Halloween Advent in Hollow's Eve. Love this one because these are the oils, Cracklin Birch and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I just want a loaf of this for all year round. That's amazing. A uh, clamshell of the Lost Boys from Super Tarts. This is pomegranate, apple cider, and toasted marshmallow. Now on cold, I was like, what the heck is this? Like, it was just okay. The pomegranate is a sweet pomegranate, not a tart one. On cold, I hardly got any apple cider. And then on warm, it still didn't throw that well for me. It was like a five or six out of 10, I think. But on warm, it morphed into something really nice. Like it didn't smell like fall to me. It didn't smell like pomegranate or apple cider or marshmallow or anything like that. But it did turn into something beautiful. Um, like a deep warm scent. Um, but it didn't throw well enough for me, so I probably won't get it again. But I liked it a lot. Where am I gonna stack all this stuff? Another clamshell from Super Tarts that I ordered with her, oh, Fright Nights, Fright Nights uh, order. Mahogany, teakwood, berries, and tobacco leaf. I like this one, you guys. I hardly smell this at all. I don't understand what my nose and super tarts, what the hate is that they have for each other. I don't know. Everyone else says that super tarts throw so well. Something is wrong with my nose. I don't know. I barely smell this one. I like the way it smells, but I don't know. Uh, next up, Kay's stainless steel. I think most of us know how this smells. Another, if there is anything, any one masculine oil that makes my mouth water, it is stainless steel. And I am so happy that, first, first of all, this one's amazing, throws super well, love K stainless steel. But I ordered a half pie of um, from Rose Girls on this last pre-order. She has one called Mario, metal Mario. There you go. Um, and it's stainless steel mixed with like a cologne scent, um, but it's mostly stainless steel. And I'm so happy to have that half pie. And I hope she'll also offer more of it. That one throws so well. And it's stainless steel is so dang sexy. I don't care what anyone thinks. I love that freaking oil. Um, and Kay's is fabulous. It's amazing. Um, Kay's apple cider donut. I actually picked this up for, because. Um, we all know Susan Fitzpatrick. Uh, she has a channel here on YouTube. She's also on Instagram. She loves this one from Kay's, and so I picked it up. I thought I had remembered getting it before and just thinking like it was meh. It's not meh. It's amazing. It literally smells like a just out of the fryer dipped in cinnamon sugar apple cider donut. It's really good. Really, really good. And I will definitely get more of that. Okay, a very special one from um, Rose Girls. Also one that I wish you would put in like large amounts because it's amazing. Peppermint, lavender, coconut milk. Once again, her lavender is so amazing. Her peppermint is so amazing. And the coconut milk just like makes it creamy. Throws super well. Very special. Love it very much. Um, oh, I melted, I'm actually melting this right now in this room um, from the Pharmacist's Daughter Halloween Advent. Good and Rotten. This is uh, pumpkin peanut brittle, zucchini bread, and pumpkin sugar donuts. So good. For some reason, any fall scent or bakery scent that is based with zucchini bread, my brain and nose just seems to love um, because it ends up putting like a somewhat savory twist on whatever sweet spice that is there. And it just, so this is was so good on cold, even better on warm, great throw, love it. Would definitely get it again. Um, another The Pharmacist's Daughter. Oh, this was from the Halloween Advent also. This is Boogeyman. This is Beechwood Vetiver, Asian Sandalwood, and White Clouds. This was good. Um, it just, and it was it was really nice. I super enjoyed it. It smelled really good. It was mostly that Beechwood Vetiver, um, but not like, I have a lot of blends with Beechwood Vetiver, so it wasn't special enough for me to say that I'd order again. Um, another one from 
the pharmacist's daughter. I'm getting so tired, you guys. I'm so sorry. We are an hour in. I wonder if it's going to cut me off. The, uh, Autumn Splendor. Coffee, latte, sweet and creamy, and funnel cake. Um, this was pretty good. Um, I Her coffee latte one, I don't like as much as her coffee house. That is my favorite oil from her. So it's good, but not a repurchase. It's going to cut me off. Let's see. In four seconds, three seconds. No. Okay. Outlander from Super Tarts. This was from Candy as well. I love Outlander. I don't remember what's in it, but I remember really liking it. It's a fresh, also fresh one that I really liked. Um, Lushy from The Pharmacist's Daughter. I don't think I spoke about this when I melted it. I might have just melted it and not posted. This is really good. This is Twilight Showers, American Cream, and Tran Tranquility. Th I uh, melted this in my basement. When I went downstairs, I, it just smelled like I was at a freaking Lush store. And it was so strong and creamy and just amazing. I would definitely get this run from her again. Um, this is from, this was a customer blend from L3 Waxy Wonders and putting up the Christmas tree, vanilla balsam, winter linen, and vanilla bean Noel. This was good. I did like this. This is a really good one for like the bathroom during Christmas because that winter linen is very strong. I didn't really get vanilla bean Noel. So it smells like vanilla balsam and winter linen. So really nice for like a bathroom at Christmas time. Um, eucalyptus experiment. Wait, is this the one? Oh, it's another one. Another eucalyptus and spearmint. Because um, I love that one so much. From the Bath and Body Works tonic from Case. We are kind of getting lower here. <laughs> oh, Autumn and Salem from Vintage Chic Scents. Love this one. I get some of this one every year. This legit smells like a cinnamon sugar dusted donut. L3 Waxy Wonders Nocturne Alley in one of the little owl shapes. Nocturne Alley is so good, you guys. Um, this one, it sounds weird, I know. But it's Rainstorm and Marshmallow Fireside. And Rainstorm is like a very floral rain. And I know that sounds weird, but so good. Um, I actually like Nocturne Alley better than plain Rainstorm. Um, like for year round. This was a sample from Kay's in Bewitched. I have since ordered clamshells of this one because it's so such a good fall bakery. This is Zucchini Carrot Bread Spiced Apple and Toasted Malo. Smells just as they say. Spiced, sweet. Bakery, fall, goodness, strong, amazing. Um, oh, this was so good from the Hufflepuff sampler from L3. Uh, Don't Cross Streams Hufflepuff, um, which Hufflepuff is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. Uh, mixed with her vanilla blend, Don't Cross Streams. That was really amazing. Uh, oh, let me talk about this one. L3, this was a loaf in winter snooze. I have since ordered some of this. I begged for her to offer this this next RTS. I hope she does. I need multiple loaves of this. Icy peppermint, herbal lavender, and chamomile. Now this is a, a blend from L3 that the lavender does come out on, but it definitely, the chamomile is also very strong. It almost sounds like a herbal lavender chamomile together. It's like they boost each other and the peppermint really comes out too. I love, this is one of my very favorite blends from L3, hands down. I need like pounds of that one. And it always throws really well. Um, this is from the pharmacist daughter. This was from her recent like samplers. This was from the masculine sampler, I think. Shave and a haircut, lumberjack and graphite. Um, I've never smelled lumberjack oil by itself, but I really, really love it. Graphite is the Bath and Body Works uh, cologne type, which I've bought for my husband. I love it. And shave and a haircut is one of my favorite masculine oils of all time in vendor wax. Lumberjack, though, I think is the strongest oil in here because this smells like a somewhat sweetened outdoors, sweetened in like a fruity way. I think there's like apple and pineapple when I read the oil description. I Googled it. Um, but it's like a masculine. I mean, it smells like you'd imagine like lumberjack, but it's slightly fruity sweetened. I don't know. I really liked it. I would definitely get that one again. Uh, I'm melting this downstairs in my basement right now from that Smell Good Shop Iced Pumpkin Cookies, which is fresh baked pumpkin cookies and sweet icing. This is good, but it is extremely sweet. The ice, like both notes in here are very sweet. Um, it's probably too sweet for me to get again. Rose Girls Don't Kill My Vibe. Love this. My husband loved this. I think Tashawn sent this one to me. This is grass, cannabis flower, and coastal kale. You definitely get like a cannabis vibe from this. Um, and the coastal kale, love that one. I would get it, it get it again, but not like in large amounts. 
Now this is the oil I talked about, I think in my last video, this is from the rain, the Rose Girls rain sampler in November rain. And it's a Yankee candle type with Sauvage Dior type, which I need your guys' help. So Rose Girls has put out the Sauvage type multiple times, but um, I'm also a perfume uh, junkie. And I've been part of fragrantica.com for, I think I looked back and it's like been 12 years that I've been a member of that website and been obsessed with perfumes. Anyways, there is like eight versions of Sauvage from the an EDT to an elixir to like just different versions. Which oil is this that Rose Girls puts out? Because I ordered a decant of Sauvage off of eBay. I do that a lot before I buy big bottles of perfume. And it was not great, but this is amazing. Like the Sauvage in this is so sexy and like musky vanilla almost in the base. I want to wear this. But the one that I got from eBay, I would never wear. So I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. And then November Rain, I love this oil. I need to get it by itself. And I need to, it's so, this blend was like from heaven. I don't know. Um, I need to get more of this. So love that one very much. And that's it. That's everything. It was a minute and now, or a minute, an hour and now six minutes. I don't know how long this is gonna to take to upload, but thanks for hanging out with me. My back hurts, I'm hungry and I'm tired. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well, we'll see you later, bye.